And we are going to talk about some netball, the under-15 netball team of uh, Bishops High School. They did fantastic in a recent competition, and I want to say congratulations to them. Our guests, Ariel De Freitas, who is the captain of the Bishops High School under-15 netball team, and Suzette James Stewart, who is the manager of the Bishops High School under-15 netball team. And they are accompanied by members of uh, the team. So good morning and welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all this morning? Good. Uh, you all sound so energetic and happy. We are. <laughs> and, and good reason. You all recently won the, the under-15 netball competition there? Yes. yes. Oh, you see, I like, I like the spirit. It's like you all are doing a chant for each other. Oh. Do, you, do you have like a, a team? Um, what, what is it called? Uh, uh, a, a chant, chant, a team chant. Yeah. Can, I, can I hear it? <laughs> oh, good win. Oh. Who can win? We can win. Who can win? We can win. Who can win? We can win. <laughs> and and you definitely won. And you definitely won. Um, I I, I want to say congratulations. You all sound fantastic. Um, you. Um, I want to start with Ariel though. Um, what was the experience like for you as the captain, uh, being able to to be part of this team that did exceptionally well in this competition? Well, it was a good one. The girls were easy to work with. Because they are like family to me. <laughs> and I hope to look forward to see a new year to work with those again. Them again. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you plan to do this again next year? Yes. With, with the same team? Yes. yes. What, what, what was it like working with them? Yeah, it was good, but did you have to motivate them when, when, when you know, in, in hard times probably? Well, they, it's on a time and they had to motivate me because... <laughs> <coughs> that, that, that is what a good team is made of, right? All right, but uh, how did you prepare for the tournament? Yeah. Ariel? Can you how, how did you prepare you, yourself and the team for this tournament? Well, we had training every day, five to seven, I think, and... We will train and train and train to beat the Scarusek and Trinidad. <laughs> <laughs> and you have Lisa laughing here um, this morning. All right, for Suzette, uh, yes. your team would have p competed before as well. How, how yes, did they did. Years ago? Uh, it is probably the fourth year that we are doing this. Winning that is at this level. And, and it was some good experience in the past, and, and to, to, to do so well again, what went behind it for you? Well, it was a lot of training for the girls, yes, but on the back, we had to keep them motivated. We had to create systems, for example, at school. We had to organize differently where they had special hours. We had to do co-curricular makeup tests and makeup work for them. On the court, we tried our best to keep them as a group. And we learned over the years that the longer that they play together, it would be better for them. So we had them training in the off season and entered them in as many competitions as came along over the year. So they took part in things like a tongue league. The THA also put on a district league. And we encourage all the girls to be part of that as well so that when they came back to us in September, they were really ready to go. And that really contributed to their progress on the courts. Uh, and, and Bishops also won last year. The team is now um, in under 17, the, the team yes, from last year. Yes, we have year. been, that team from last year is under 17 group. Mm -hmm. And we are proud of them because out of that group, we had three girls who went on to be on the national under 16 team. And so we are hoping that this team can beat that record and make us proud next April. And, and the girls are supposed to be chanting and cheering when they hear something like that. So that's I good think news so too, them. eh? So, so let me hear them now. I, I ain't hearing them. They, they, they're too quiet, you know. <laughs> they, they need to keep the chant going for me, you know. Yeah. They're going quiet again. <laughs> so, so what's well next trained, for the team? Well what next for the team? Well, right now we're trying to get them back into school a bit. It's been a long three months without really regular hours. So mm -hmm. we're getting them ready for end of terms. We're trying to build their other capacities. So yes, they're off the court. We're trying to get them into better habits 
Uh, we had started a nutrition program, so we want to get them further into that and to build fitness next year for the next month after they have their month of rest we start them again with our fitness program and get them back ready for competition all right well thank you very much uh suzette james stewart the manager of bishops oh, yeah. high school under 15 netball team and ariel de freitas captain of that team they won the under 15 netball title and and ladies you, you have to give me the chance before we leave, before we come out of the segment three Go ahead. We were down in a alley. We were down in a alley. We heard about the call. And we heard about the call. It was the HS. It was the HS. And the battle sand all. Put your foot on the pedal. Put your foot on the pedal. Put your foot on the cord. Put your foot on the cord. Move over other schools. Move over other schools. <laughs> All right, Lisa, that was absolutely yeah, fantastic. Yes, you think, you know, good congratulations, Bishop <laughs> and Tobago, you guys. Congratulations to you.